Alrighty, hello again. Alright, let's give this a try again. I couldn't close anything. I tried closing the game. The game was, first of all, the game was not playable. Like, it was just a black screen after I changed the resolution. It, it would not go away from a black screen. The task manager opened up on the other monitor, which I could not manipulate because for some reason Homecoming froze that entire monitor, so I couldn't close it from the task manager, and I couldn't get the task manager to the other monitor because every time I tried to get the task manager to come up, it wouldn't come up. The only thing that would come up was the Windows bar, which was completely fucking useless because it didn't do anything. Um, so the entire computer was pretty much frozen. Well, not the entire computer. You get what I'm saying. We'll try this again. And if it comes to be that Silent Hill Homecoming is just not behaving, uh, we won't play it. We'll play something else. Sucks, because this is the one I was like really excited about, but it is what it is. If it's just going to be a bitch, I'm not going to bother with it. Oh, shit. I didn't put the window code in. Hello, welcome. We're having some difficulties right now. I didn't put the window code in. Well, she could give me a code that I can put in that forces it into windowed mode. Okay, I need to go to what? I need to go to the files. I need to go to the files. Engine. Wait, I don't... How do I... What? I... I don't know how to do this. I can't access that file. I'm not really terribly sure... Um, how to get it accessible. So, this is through Steam. Uh, this is unfortunately not going to work for me until I figure that out. Is there no, like, launch mode code or anything? Let me see. Kind of seeing why people said this was a terrible port. Um, there's a lot of people saying this is unplayable on Steam. You found a fix? Is it the VARS engine thing? Because that's the file I don't know how to open. Oh. Oh. Huh. Wow. <laughs> okay. All right. Um. Okay. So. Click. Uh. Show only on desktop one or two. Show only on desktop. What? Oh. <sighs> um. Hmm. Oh. 
Hold on. Right click. Compatibility tab. Um, disable desktop cloud. Whoa, there's something that says disable full screen optimizations. I don't know what that means. Maybe that's it. No. I don't know. Maybe this is it. Aw, thank you. That's very sweet of you to say. All right, I'm going to put it in 16 by 9. Did that work? Did that work? Did that work? Nope. That just crashed the game completely. Yeah, I'm trying the other fix in that thread. The problem is I don't have the options that they're speaking of in the compatibility tab. Maybe, what if running 640 screen resolution, maybe? How about that? That'll do it. No. That didn't do anything. None of these options are doing shit. I am so confused. The heck was that? Whoa. Um, I can't even see what that was. What was that? Oh, those were throne gifts. Someone got me some stuff? Uh, Why is my email not loading it? Why are you so useless, email? Oh, nice. You got me a new bone gag and some schoolgirl stockings. That's really nice of you. Thank you so much. I need more stockings. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm going to just... I hate to tell you guys. I don't think this is playable. Um, I cannot get this game to work. I keep trying the things that other people are doing to get it to work. It's just not working for me. Um, the one monitor thing might work. The problem with the one monitor thing is... I use two to stream on. Um... And having one monitor is not ideal. Um, okay, so there's a f tutorial Sheikah sent me. Shut up, YouTube. Oh my god. Oh.
Oh, I guess these CFG files open with Notepad. Oh, okay, here we go. Now we're gaming. Now we're gaming. Okay, now that I figured out how to open this stupid CFG file. We might be gaming. Okay, we might be gaming. Let's see if we're gaming. Are we gaming, boys? It does appear that we are gaming. It does appear that we are gaming. It might be? I don't know. I didn't know that... I didn't know how to open the CFG files, so, I mean, I couldn't do anything to fix it. It launched in Windows mode, and then it froze immediately. Um, I'll try one more time. I'll try one more time. Bro, why is this so fucking dumb? Why is Konami just shit? Why is Konami just shit at at porting things? I don't understand. Okay, it froze a second after it froze last time. <laughs> I'm so fucking confused. I'm gonna try one more time. And I'm not going to touch anything this time. Okay, so far so good. Oh, it doesn't run properly in higher res. I just want to get it in 16 by 9. Like, I'm not even trying to get it in, like, a really high resolution. I just want it in 16x9. If it can get in 16x9, I am happy. Oh, shit. Okay, I got it in 16x1024. Seems to be running fine. Okay. The problem I'm having is that if I click mouse keys while it's loading, it fucking freezes. I am so confused. Why is this so shit? Okay, this is genuinely not a fun time. No, it's just not doing anything. Alright, I give up. Sorry to those of you who wanted to see Homecoming. It's a piece of shit port, and it does not work properly on Steam. Um, maybe we can, maybe it'll be on discount on PSN sometime and we can try, um, and we can try playing it then. Unfortunately, I do not have it on PSN and I do not have the money to buy it on PSN, which is probably like $25. Most likely. Let's see. PSN store. I really doubt it's less than 15. Come on, bro. It is not even on PSN. <laughs> uh, you know... All right, whatever. We gave this a go. Didn't work. Sorry, guys. Maybe? I don't know. Not sure. Could be. All right, well, instead of Silent Hill, we're going to play Alone in the Dark. Hopefully that works. If that doesn't work, then... I guess we'll play something else.
my model flashed. Not a good sign. This is opening like the exact same way Silent Hill did. I'm very suspicious of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, can we just, like... Thank you. Oh. Oh. Um, so we can't even edit the resolution in this game? Guess not. And it does not have controller support either. Hmm. No, it definitely does not. Hmm. All right, let me see if I can get this show. Okay, this is going to be one of those things, isn't it? This is going to be one of those things, isn't it? I bet it doesn't work um, with game capture. It kind of works, but it's like super small and I don't know why. Oh, see that works perfectly fine. They're so lazy, like they'll just throw up anything and not care if it doesn't work. Can't believe the fixes I sent her for 2014 and it still hasn't been addressed, <laughs> right? Oh well. All right, let's play Alone in the Dark. Uh, it looks like we're going to play it with keyboard and mouse since it doesn't work with controller. Man, it's been a while since I played this game. I don't even know how this is going to work with control of uh, with keyboard and mouse. Oh, you don't have sorry, you don't have uh audio. Give me a second. I'll fix that for you. There you go. Condi, this is Fisk. I hope you had a safe trip. Well, yeah, I flash every I time I alt tab. Ranting, but I've taken on a new case. I know, That's what I, know, I was I saying. Quit, That's not a good but sign. I was contacted by a man named Johnson to go to Shadow Island and investigate Obed Morton and the Abcanis writing tablet. Does that ring any bell? Now you understand why I couldn't say no and had to leave right away. I'm going tomorrow. I left some notes on the office desk. See you soon, Carmi. Oh, I nearly forgot. If you want to contact Johnson, is it 555-1495? Boston Police Department. Name, Fisk. First name, Charles. We're going date to some place called Shadow 17th, Island. 1944. Presumed date of death, October 24th, 2001. Coast. Yeah, exactly. Somewhere in the United States, October 31st, 2001, 1800 hours, 43 minutes. Somewhere in the United States, how descriptive. So? They'll be on Shadow Island in about an hour. Carnby's a loose cannon, but we had no real choice. And the professor? Professor Eileen Sedrak is convinced that Obed Morton is her... We had no trouble persuading her. I must have those tablets in their translation. Is that clear, Johnson? Perfectly, sir. Oh, we're doing a conspiracy here. Daddy? Oh my god! Is Cedric? Holy shit, the voice Aline? acting. Wake up. What? Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Here. You'll probably need this. Do you have your radio? Yes, I have it. Aline. I think this game came out in 
When we get to the island, for your safety, even, you'd like better tail end of the PS1 me. era. My safety? Is there any danger? I was hired to authenticate the translation of the Afghanistones. I will be working with Professor Morton. My best friend died because of those tablets. He was killed on Shadow Island. And I swear I'm gonna find whoever did it. I'm very sorry. Listen, I know Professor Morton's reputation. He's a scientist, a great researcher. Well, to me, he's just another suspect. And a butthole. We're getting close. Shadow Island. What was that? Uh-oh. We're going down. Talk about going ghost. They're about to become ghost. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> that scream was really good. <laughs> that scream was really, really good. <laughs> Rip that guy. So she landed on top of the house and he just gets to hit the floor, I guess. Okay, we get to choose a guy. Uh, we can choose Edward. Uh, okay. Do I have to watch all of that again? Because the okay, we don't. All right, we can be this Edward man, or we can be Aline. She's an ethology professor. Her characteristic is father unknown. His characteristic is he owns a double barrel gun. I think we're going to be this guy. Alone in the dark. Right? Oh, man. Oh, this is everything I wanted. Control shooting mechanics. There we go. There we go. Holding down control to be shooting. Cartonby, answer me, please. Aline, are you okay? How could I be okay? Why do the subtitles what die? What was that thing? What the heck's going on here? At the moment, I've got no idea. Listen, I want out of here, right now. Look, don't panic. I'll think of something. Where exactly are you? On the roof of some kind of manor. I nearly got myself killed. I'm really scared. Please do something. I landed in some woods about 100 yards from the manor. Can you see me? See you? How could I? Help me, for Christ's sake. Turn on your flashlight. Okay. Oh, I love that I we're just waving the flashlight around. Okay, I see you too. Here's what we'll do. Try and get inside the manor, then find a place to hide. I'll come looking for you. How long will that take? I don't know. As little time as I can. What? Aline, I'll come for you. And that's a promise. Hurry. So, how do we be shooting? Okay, spacebar is shoot. So hold down control and spacebar. Yeah, that makes sense. Those are shooting mechanics. All right, but how do I be examining things? Oh my god, this is so wonky on control. Fucking keyboard and mouse. <laughs> These controls are wild, dude. Whoa, that's all bloody. Blood. Oh my god. Whoa! It's a dude! No, no, don't move. Don't move. Leave me be. 
Just try to stay calm. You've got a gun. I'm leading you some bullets. I'll go and find help. <laughs> help? But you'll die like everyone else. Run. I'll be back. Hmm. I don't know why the subtitles aren't working. But they are not working. Oh, maybe there's not subtitles. I don't know. Thought there were subtitles, but maybe not. Flashlight is S. Run is A. Okay. Nice. We got a flashlight. And we know how to run now. Jesus! F! Fuck! Shit! What the fuck? He's been murdered! Or he murdered something, I don't know. Okay, but how do I be examining things? Free look aim. Action is spacebar. I bet that's how we be examining things. We just gotta be tapping the spacebar as we walk around. You can either be running or you can be examining. You can't be both. The game won't let you be both. It's one or the other. This door is locked. I heard a guy. I think that might have been a doggy. Please enjoy the spaghetti stylings of me running with the arrow keys. I hope that you're enjoying it. I really do. Oh! Secured with a combination padlock, and I don't have the code. Time for more spaghetti running. My parachute won't be of any further use. Indeed. There's like, oh, small bronze key. Well, guess we got our way into the in the mansion, into the mansion. Okay, but how do I use the key? There. Objet. Nice, we unlocked the door. What is going on with my model? The fuck was that all about? That was weird. My internet is being fucking stupid as hell too. Doggies! Hello, doggies! Oh no! What was that? Oh my god! Oh my god! That little guy murdered that dog! Rude. Honestly rude. I got me a box of magnesium bullets. Whatever the hell that means. Alright, where's the guy? Where's the guy I'm be shooting? 
Remember, you can only run or you can examine. You cannot do both. It is forbidden by the game. Whoa. Oh, magnesium bullets again. Oh no, doggies. Uh-oh. They're on their way. Oh. They didn't attack me. Huh. We got us a first aid kit. I really love that all the items just kind of spin around. I think that's my favorite part so far. Is how you get the items and they just kind of spin around. All right, let's go up these stairs. Sorry, doggy. Aline? You have no idea. I forgot to tell you. I met an old woman. I believe she's Obed's mother. But she seems half crazy. She says she's not seen him for the last three days. Anything else? I believe Obed Morton is on the island. But everything I've seen curdles my blood. It nearly drove me out of my mind. Yeah. Well, what else? Is that your only reaction? Or maybe you want me to carry out the entire investigation for you. Oh, if wow. react like that. I'll react whichever way I want to. Over. Wow. She, she, she took that from zero to a hundred. All right, what's over here? Seems to just be nothing but this thing. It's an awning of some sort. <laughs> I'm sorry, doggy. Oh! Statues on the height of bad taste. Is it? It's a lion statue. They're they're pretty common in survival horror games, you know. For some reason, there's always a lion statue. I like that I'm running around in circles now. I love the part where I'm just running into pillars as I'm running. Sorry, doggy. I think these are what the people call tank controls. A sculpture. Well, that was eruditious. fuck was all that? It's a gate. And it's locked. Carnby? Carnby, come in. What's going on? Things. Terrifying things. Shadows. Living shadows. Aline? It's awful. Come and get me. I'm begging you. Come quick. Aline. Aline. Shit. What? Oh. Whoa. What the fuck?
I, uh... I, uh... Don't know if I can kill that guy. How do you reload? Doesn't say. Do I not have any more bullets? Oh, I have 72 bullets. What the fuck? Alright, well that guy is just there, I guess, now. There is surely a way. What? What does that mean? <laughs> Do you want to activate this valve? Sure. Oh, looks like we found us a basement passage. Oh no! Oh no! It's another one of those little guys! That's a look. That's a look right there. the objet. Alright, we should be good. We should be good now. No! Okay, so that guy is just gonna keep doing things. Did I get him? Yeah, I got him. No! So I think he's just gonna keep pulling me back. I think this might be a boss fight. I don't, I'm not really too sure. All I know is I'm gonna die. Is that it? Is that it? Are we good? Are we good? tell if this thing dies or not. Thank you for the water bowl. I will need it. Um, I think he's dead. Yeah, I think he's a lot, uh, I think he's unalive. I think he is unalive and I have used the charm of saving. Okay, yeah, he's definitely unalive. So th those things can be killed. All right, I will now drink my water. I cannot stress to you, by the way, how much the controls are straining my fingers. I don't know how much more we can play in this. How the fuck do we get up there? What the fuck? No idea. Okay, so maybe that's not the right way. Doesn't 
mean I can just go into it, maybe. Okay, this is not a, I don't think this is a way. Is this not a way? I don't think that's a way. Okay, what the fuck? Then that means the only way to go is over here. Edward, are you not capable of climbing a tiny ledge? There are RPG heroes who are capable of climbing tiny ledges, Edward. Ah, there we go. That's my boy. Let's go into this intimidating looking door. Alright, where are we now? We made our way into some stone hell. Oh, right, I have a flashlight. Yo, yes. The fuck are phosphorus cartridges? Yo, triple barreled shotgun. Okay, maybe now I know what those phosphorus cartridges are for. All right, let's get me going with that shotgun. Let's get that shoddy going. Nice. There we go. We got that shoddy going. I don't know why it has three barrels. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and uh, we'll do a quick ad break. So we'll be back in a minute and 30 seconds. Don't go anywhere. Cannot stress that enough. Whew. Boy, howdy. I tell you. My fingers are bumping. My fingers are bumping. All right, welcome back. We are continuing Alone in the Dark, the new nightmare. Having a grand old time with these tank controls. Do you want to open the casket? Oh, absolutely. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Oh. Gate is locked. Door is locked. Do you want to look through the spy hole? I do. I didn't see shit in there, though. Door is locked. Alright, one of these locks have to open with this key. I don't want to do that. B cellar. Alright, well, it can't be used there. Carnby? Carnby, 
answer me. Aline, I thought you were dead. I did too. I'm not cut out for this kind of place. I want this to stop right now. I understand. You understand? You understand? You don't understand anything. I don't know what you, Johnson, or Professor Morton want of me, but I'm asking for this nightmare to stop right now. Aline, get a grip on yourself. Where are you? In some room, but I can't get to you. One of the doors is locked, and I can crack the other one, but there's some heavy object blocking it. When I think it's Obed Morton who locked me in here, and I wanted to help him. Don't move. I'll come free you. Is that the best you can do? Yes, that's the best I can do. Well, okay then. Hurry up. Oh, no! Oh, oh shit! Shit! Oof! I don't remember when I saved last. Hey, I can hear you. Can you see what's blocking the door? I think it's just a chest of drawers. Well, then push it Those aside. aren't drawers. That's a wardrobe, buddy. At last. I want you to tell me what's going on. I don't know yet, but I do love your new outfit. It makes you look less, uh, you know... Yes, I know. <laughs> Here, I got your stuff. Thanks. What about my jacket? Whoever locked you up in here probably thought it matched his hair. Listen, I should never have agreed to let you come along. I have my own reasons for being here. Were you able to talk with Obed Morton? No, were you? I'm not so sure. I have this feeling that there's more than one Obed Morton. It's way too dangerous. We have to find a safe place for you where you can hide and wait for me. Listen, Carnby. You know as well as I do that the safest place is at least two hours away by plane. I haven't done too bad up till now, and I sure don't intend to spend whatever time I have left doing nothing. I want to know. Just before, I heard this voice above us. There's a trap door. If you help me, I can reach it. But why not stick together? You and I don't have the same goals. Remember what you told me in the plane. Come on, give me a hand. What if I were to say no? You're not the type to say no. Now I think we can save. Ooh! An acrobat statue and a dictaphone. I have always wondered about the circle of stones located in the moors. When I would ask Edenshaw about it, he always remained very vague. I now think it's some kind of ritual calendar used to determine various astronomical events. I have started building a planetarium that will be used in conjunction with the circle of stones. All this seems linked to the gate, to the opening of the gate, and to the ritual of the seven statues. Edenshaw was very surprised. It seems he had not thought them related. I therefore talked him into performing the ritual of his ancestors. I know his weakness and how to use it. He wanted to convince me of his powers as a witch doctor. Even he acted out of pride. I recorded him while he spoke the sacred words of his tribe. He was standing before one of the steels, and the direction in which he pronounced the incantation seemed an important part of the ritual. But nothing happened. The time has not yet come, is what he said, justifying himself. Huh. An 
Indian posing in front of an underground door framed by two monumental statues. Today I am 10 years old, and Mummy fell off her horse. She said she saw a big shadow jump up in front of her, which made Sultan rear up. Daddy made a doctor come from the mainland. He said Mummy won't ever walk or see anymore. I wonder what it's like to be blind. I try closing my eyes, but it isn't the same, because I know I can open them again. Grandpa Jeremy made a new machine. It's not like all the other ones, but it doesn't do much of anything. But it is very funny. You can make photographs that move with it. He told me again never to go near the gate. When, he, when I said that Obed and I discovered it when we were playing in the ruins of the fort, he got really angry. I know Grandpa Jeremy can open it up. Maybe someday he'll show me. June 1st, 1973. Grandpa Jeremy died this morning. Wow, that was fast. Father's sorrow doesn't seem great. Grandpa Jeremy never told me how to open the gate. When I asked him, he told me that if, I might, if my desire was true, then I would find a way. Father has forbidden us from going to the fort. He has even changed the combination of the lock to the gate on the bridge. If only he realized. Father is afraid of the creatures of darkness. I'm certain of it. He is a coward. He doesn't trust the weapons Grandpa Jeremy made. He said we were going to leave the island and that it was time we started living a normal life. I think Mother agrees with him. I don't want to live anywhere but here. The world of men revolts me with all its triviality. Their pre preoccupations are so crude. Man is so vain. Grandpa left me a letter and half a photo of us in front of the gate. I can't even remember when he took it. There's a number written on the back, but I can't do anything with it. It's not the code of the control board in the library. Why are they so afraid of the shadows of the night? I know one day I will learn to speak their language. I know that one day I will pass into the world of darkness. And then nobody will be able to tell me what I can or can't do, or what is good and what is evil. April 18th, 1992. It's a big day. The construction of my laboratory is nearly finished. I really need it to open up new vistas for my research. Obed is terrorized. But what can this pale reflection of a man understand? The Lords of Darkness are with me. By digging the underground gallery that leads to the tunnel to the sacrificial chapel, I have discovered another way to get to the gate. So I won't have to clear Grandpa Jeremy's path that my idiot father made inaccessible. As soon as I get my hands on that translation, I'm so impatient. And let's hope that Eden Shaw doesn't get into his head to start telling me how to behave again. I have never understood his mot real motivations. Grandpa Jeremy held him in high esteem. But I know he is on the wrong side of the shadow, that when the moment comes, he will try everything to stop me from succeeding. I know that when the time comes, I'll have to neutralize him, too. March 2nd, 1995. I have just reread a few pages of my notebook, and I realize how right I have always been. Father should have never gotten between us and our destiny, but in the end, he has been much more helpful to me than he would ever have believed. I have made great progress in the translation of the tablets. A new world is going to open before me. It bothers me little that Obed profits from my accomplishments in order to win himself honors in high society. One day my brother will find a wife, and then have children, and then what? Then he will return to Shadow Island to fulfill his fate. I don't have the luxury of all that time to waste. We live in immense danger, but what of it? We Mortons have lived with danger for over a century. We have mastered it, and learned how to tame it. Obed is a sniveling coward, just like the others. Grandpa Jeremy left me several leads, but I still don't understand why he never confided in the secret of the gate to me. No doubt he thought that I still didn't deserve it. I still need raw materials. Those I use for my initial experiments are rotting. Barely good enough to drop in the pickling formalin. The storms, too, are too infrequent. Obed met somebody that could resolve my supply problems. I've made so much progress since my last attempt. Oh, Father, I would never have believed that you would one day be so close to divinity. Perfect fusion is within my grasp. July 8th, uh, 2000. While I was facing foraging through Obed's affairs, I found definitive proof that he has not only betrayed me, but the whole of the Morton family history. The letter Lamb sent him leaves me in no doubt. More raw materials, but this time fresh. Well, that was something. 
there a map? Have I asked this question before? I feel like I have. Oh, there is. M. S. How do I... We're not going back that way. This door seems sealed up. Your mother seems sealed up. Isn't that the door she exited from? Why would it be sealed up for me, but not for her? Ooh, what's this? Surely an explorer. He is carrying objects bandolier style. In the background, a ship is caught in ice. There seems to be a locking mechanism. There's a metallic plate, but it is blank. His fixed gaze sends shiver down the spine. On the table is a map of the island, and behind him is a strange statue. Morton's decor lives to their fortune. Oh, hello. Who's that guy? I know who you are and what you have come looking for. I was expecting you. Just stay where you are. Don't move an inch. Who are you? They call me Edenshaw. I am the it's okay, guardian we couldn't play Homecoming. Island. The guardian? Guardian of what? And what are all these monsters? What the heck's going on here? Professor Morton has definitely crossed the threshold. Look, can't you spell it out? What is this mess? My weakness is to blame. I let children play with powers way beyond their grasp. Is it? But the legends were not wrong. No. You have Maybe? come to us. My only hope is that it is not too late. This is all Greek to me. It will become clear soon enough. Go to the library. The books Does it? will hold many a secret. Also, take this charm. It will prevent you from falling into oblivion with all the others. Go, fulfill your destiny. Save us. Wait, huh. wait. I don't I hear come it, but maybe. Around. I came to investigate Fisk's death. I do not know who you are talking about. Charles Fisk. 50-ish, about 6'1", graying hair. I still do not know who that is. You see, nobody's come to Shadow Island for months now. Okay, that's about enough of this. Oh, God. Did he just moonwalk away? I think he just moonwalked away. Oh God! What are all these screams? Oh, hello! Uh... Good God! Nice, we got a box of phosphorus cartridges and magnesium bullets. A display cabinet with the ship model and some kind of balance. Uh, what the fuck are you? Should probably save. I feel like if I get hit one more time, I might get murdered. And by murdered, I mean dead. And by dead, I mean game over. <sighs> All right. Let's continue. Oh! Oh. See, I knew it. I knew it. I told you. I said one more time, and I would get game overed. 
And that guy wasn't even, like, attacking. He just got on my head and just started sucking it. Books, what a huge quantity of knowledge in the service of evil. Take a photograph. What the fuck is my photograph of? Oh, there's like a bag on it. I don't have any of those. Dude's gonna give me the suck again. And I can't prevent it. I can't. I can't prevent it. Maybe I can. No, he gave me the suck again. I knew it. I knew it. guy needs to move. Oh, never mind. I guess that's a mask. I need to take him. Oh! No! Suck. I'm leaving. I don't want any more suck. Oh, sh shit! Fuck my ass. Fuck my narrow ass. ass. Either that or that's the end of my ass. I don't know. Ooh, we're entering terrifying territory. Ooh! Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Got some ammo. All right. Uh, didn't mean to do that. I wanted to save again. Wasn't, but fun fact about said VA, he also played Inspector Chelmy and Don Paolo. You mean Layton's VA? That I think I knew. Oh my god! Oh! Oh, they're big in muscles! I don't really like Para zombies, so I, I think maybe no to them. Well, they're dead. It doesn't matter. That door's locked. That door's locked. <gasps> All right. That's what we call taking charge of the situation. Using my butt. Ooh! Wait a minute. 
this room is familiar to me. I remember something bad in this room. What's this? What is this? It's an amphora filled with water. Is that a crowbar? It is. A steel with a uh, stele with strange writing. Oh, I am nearing our goal. You, uni dar akam el drosti. Alan is so impatient. What passion and what madness! Otar den tyren ol bagdan. Clarity must sometimes live in darkness, for from darkness light may spring. Hintor Wotengar el Drayu. It appears that the ritual must take place upon a precise date. Inheritors slash guardians. Rituals. Gate. Danger. I never cease to be amazed by the richness of this language. I pity the fools who could only look upon me and mock. I didn't mean to make him sound like Mr. T. Where do these transcriptions of Grandpa Jeremy come from? Where did he find the inscriptions? Why did he never take me into his confidence? Alan has come up with an incredible theory. I must find out if it's true. Water from a deep source revives the man who thinks he's dead. Alan was right, again. I know he will always be better than me. As the text takes shape, its revelations become more terrifying. Beyond the threshold, the sun has never shone. He who has crossed it has never returned. This gate was built by man from Firestone, so that the shadows would always dwell in night. Man sealed this gate with his blood, and as the gods did order him. Man has not conquered the shadow. The gate brings no victory, it merely chokes the flow. A curse on he who opens it once more. My god, what are we doing? The last witch doctor will destroy the world of darkness. May humanity forgive us. I like how he said, may humanity forgive us, but he's clearly still doing it. Shadow Island, April 12th, 1905. I, the undersigned, Richard Morton, being of sound mind and body, declare this document to be my last will and testament. Let no other take its place. Archibald, my son! The mission I undertook so many years ago is still vast and incomplete. I expect you and your descendants to strive without respite for its completion. To this end, I bequeath you my goods and chattels, my estate and all it contains. Let Deserto guide you. He will tell you what to do and how to do it. Archibald, I have often seen doubt cloud your youthful eye. Sometimes your gla glance betrays your disapproval. Indeed, I have sacrificed human life. But name me the conquest without sacrifice. Indeed, I have defiled almost every commandment in the Bible. But isn't morality always the first ca casualty of progress? What worth do a few miserable lives have compared to the immense discoveries, the enormous unprecedented advances that I have made? Archibald, I know you are no coward. I know that with Deserto's help you will go far, much further than I ever did. You will be the one to venture into the unknown. You will set the foundations for a new humanity. I know that, because of us, the Morton name will shine with the light of a thousand stars in the great pantheon of history. My detractors will become the laughingstock of generations to come. Thanks to you and the confidence I have in Deserto, our destiny shall be fulfilled. Thus do I leave this world in peace. All these notes are giving me bless me daddy I've been naughty vibes. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe some people need some spankings. Well, not not these people. These people are creepy and weird, but you know. Other people who have been naughty. My library is my life's work. <clears throat> I wanted it to be the hexagon, the perfect form of six equilateral triangles representing the universe. It is a repository for ten centuries of human knowledge, worthless every word of it. What? Ten centuries of empty, hollow treatises, 
Ten black centuries of ignorance, vain and stupid reflections that remind us each day how vile and petty the human spirit is. Ten centuries and not one mention of the world of darkness. I understand now that humanity has left its, let its destiny go by. However, four works are worth saving. Four works contain the true key. I have discovered a symbol that represents the worlds of darkness and light, two entities in equilibrium, one above the other. The other does not exist without the other. Two triangles juxtapose in opposition, the one clear, the other dark. I place the four books vertically in the space in the library representing the symbol. The symbol thus crosses the library from one side to the other. The first is placed the highest, the second is opposite. Light, darkness, darkness, light. Yeah, that puzzle's a bitch. I already read it. Alright. We are going to do a quick ad break. We will be back in a minute and 30 seconds. Don't go anywhere. I cannot stress, by the way, how much stress my fingers are under with the controls in this game, so I don't know how much longer we will be able to play this, but I hope you are enjoying how incredibly campy I'm making these people out to be. There's something on that bookshelf. Oh, absolutely. Abcanus Americ Amerindians, a link between the two humanities. This book is the result of research that I embarked upon more than 20 years ago. I am aware that the theories, ideas, and truths expounded herein have already engendered great hostility, not only from my colleagues, but also from uh, anthropological and eth ethnological soci scientists who are more distantly related to my field. I know that history will prove me right. It is this conviction that drives me onwards towards this narrow, treacherous path I have chosen to take. My passion for Abkhanis culture, language, and civilization started at a very young age. I owe this passion to two men. Firstly, to my grandfather, Jeremy Morton, who was a physician, mathematician, astronomer, philosopher, and magician, as well as a misunderstood genius. By the will of God, may mankind one day pay him the homage that is his due. Secondly, to Joseph Edenshaw, who entered my grandfather's service in 1920. He may have been my tutor, but he was like a father to me. He may have been my master, but he was also my faithful servant. To my knowledge, he is the last representative of the great Abkhanis civilization. I am deeply grateful to them both. May Hekaton Sheris bay them both with his sweet eternal light. My detractors have often reproached me for elaborating the theories from which my convictions sprung. 
on the basis of limited, fragmentary, and unreliable sources. It is true to say that up until now, the material I have provided to feed my critics' curiosity is scant. Three engraved stones of several dozen photos of inscriptions taken from the walls of grottos found on an island off the coast of Boston. Champ Champollion, however, persuaded the world of his convictions with only the Rosetta Stone. On the basis of my evidence, I can confirm that a highly evolved form of Abkhanis civilization with a complex writing system appeared in the northeast of what is now the United States 15,000 years ago. This civilization has a rich history that is more extensive than even our Judeo-Christian civilization. Unlike other human civilizations, it never sought to extend its territories, to conquer others or migrate. It should not be forgotten in this respect that the word Abkhanis itself means guardian in their language. Since my first publications of the subject appeared in certain specialist reviews of limited circulation, articles have appeared which claim the Abkhanis are the descendants of a race of extraterrestrial origin. This discredited my research greatly, and I feel compelled to say that such rantings are completely unfounded. The Abkhanis are anything but extraterrestrials. Abkhanis society was not organized around the family unit, but on a community structure. From the age of 12, Abkhanis men and women both embark, without sexual discrimination, on the same initiation rituals which last 12 long years. At the end of their initiation, they are accorded the status of guardian. It is at this point that different religious, military, and household functions are attributed. The Abkhanis were cave dwellers, however. The, however, their religion was not based on fire, but light. They developed an elaborate pantheon of divinities, one which became the cornerstone of their daily life. The Magic of Light Ancient Abkhanis religious worship was expressed through a, different, a set of different magical rituals, in which light was central. It also appears that their designated enemies were de forms of demons from hell that they called Drakar Ani, or creatures of darkness. It is probable that this marvelous Abkhanis writing system, the deciphering of which I am still grappling with today, was perfected to determine specific roles for each ritual. Many questions remain unanswered, in particular, how their writing operated. For most known civilizations, writing was first invented for commercial exchange, for listening possessions or for listing possessions or establishing contracts. The Abkhanis, one single preoccupation, however, seems to have been their role as guardian. Guardian of what, though? And against whom? These are both questions to which I think I will never find satisfactory answers. Jesus fucking Christ. All right. Okay. Let's put let's let's do the Shiba. I'm going to step away for a few moments. That was a lot of reading all at once. We're going to do the Shiba and then I will come back and we will continue for a bit longer and then we'll switch to another game. Let's see. Which Shiba Inu do we want to put on the screen? <laughs> oh, that's a nice guy. Oh, never mind. Oh, these are nice guys. Oh my god, that's not very big either. harder to find good images of Shiba Inus. I don't know why. It just is. Alright, well this will have to do. <laughs> no. No round boys.
There we go. All right. I hope you enjoy your palate cleanser. I will be back in about five minutes, and then we will continue. So don't go anywhere. Or do. I mean, if you need to piss or something, do that at least.
hello, hello. I am back. And the Sheba is going away. I hope that you enjoyed him. He was nice. All right, it's time to continue Alone in the Dark. We're going to play this for a little bit longer, and then we're going to switch to a different game. Because um, this is murdering my hands and my voice. <clears throat> but I am really... <laughs> I'm really enjoying it. I'm having a lot of fun playing this game <laughs> and making it as campy as fucking possible. All right, you take the flask. Okay. Um, let's examine the flask. A cylindrical flask in a canvas cover. Oh! I knew it! I knew there was gonna be something horrible in here! Ooh, we got a first aid kit. Hold on, that's perfectly timed. It's very well timed, actually. I'll I'll save here. Also, rip to uh to Matthew Perry. He died tonight. I just found this out while I was browsing, and I I was so surprised by this news. I was never a terribly huge fan of Friends, but there was a point in my life where I was acquainted with people who absolutely were, and uh, it was pretty much the focus of a lot of conversations, so I'm just really floored by it. Alright, let's avoid, uh, avoid those guys. Where the fuck are we? Oh, we're in this big room again. An ordinary clock. I'm so sure it's ordinary. Oh, lights are back on. Never was a Friends fan, but oh no. It's one of those shows that like I put on sometimes just because it was available, you know? I don't think it's ever one that I like watched by choice. personally. He really wasn't that old. dogs the yet in puppy training just licked my knee as I got out of it oh cute wait this is taking us back in here painting of a megalithic site with stone cylinder at its center. No, I was trying to open the chest, you fuck face. It's an empty cupboard. But yeah, very sad. Very sad news. Thank you. 
think we're reaching that point of the horror game where we, uh... We're going in circles. Go away. Bullies are weird puppies. They mellow out in the goofiest ways. Do you mean pit bulls? Where are we? Sorry, I had to make sure that sound was in my headset. I thought my cats might be getting attacked or something. In the attic. I went through there. I saw that there's some sort of trap door on the floor. You'll see it. When you walk on it, it has a hollow sound. I met Edenshaw, the old Indian. He told me he was the last witch doctor. He says he can do something that will stop all this madness. Do you think we can trust him? I met him too. He seemed to know a lot more than he said. But I don't think we have much of a choice anyhow. He needs seven statues to carry out some sort of ritual. Well, why doesn't he go looking for them? Can't we help him? Sure. What do these statues look like? I don't really know. They depict some kind of animals, I think. Oh, well, that narrows it down. Carnby, I'm sure it's really important. I know, I know. We'll find his statues for him. But after that, we're going home. And where is your home? I don't know yet. We'll get to that later. Over. Whatever that horrifying shriek is, it's coming from this room. Oh, of course it would be locked. I did. Well, we'll have to come back, I guess. So many locked doors. The freak. Oh no. Oh, it's him again. Stab my dick? What are you what are you even doing with my dick? Oh. Oh. Right. I 
it needs to be filled with water. Oh no. Oh no, it's the bar of zombies again. Nope, no, no! There's still one right here. You ignoramus. No! That's close. I think that's come uppance for you stabbing dicks earlier. Oh, true. That's so right. Am I out of bullets, by the way? Nearly. Nearly out of bullets. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll do the revolver then. How about that? That works. That one unlocked. Take a gilded key. It is engraved GRDF East. Ground floor east? So that would be where? Well, right now we're on the second floor, so that's, that's really not going to be the guy. That reminds me of the gray children from Silent Hill, but not slow. Yeah, that guy just kind of died. I don't know, really know what his deal was. Statue of an owl. An Indian weapon. The Morton's nurture was a veritable passion for Indian cultures. We got a small gilded key. I wonder what that's for. Ground floor west. Okay. Well, this definitely doesn't look suspicious at all. Old weird painting. 
Why the hell would I want to turn off the lights? Well, this was a interesting room. Let's do a quick ad break. Uh, we'll be back in a minute and 30 seconds. Don't go anywhere. All right. Welcome back from the ads. Okay. We got a key. I don't know where to use it.
That said ground... Ground floor west? It's weird. Where the hell's ground floor west other than where we came in from? And this one's sealed, right? He enjoys flailing around. They keep sucking me off. Stop sucking me off.
Maybe a scientist. He's carrying a curious object. It looks like an astronomical telescope. The portrait is quite recent. It exudes a strange melancholy. The stranger represents this, resembles the statue on the first floor. Oh, hello. Where the hell are we? something with that statue on the first floor. I don't know what, though. Hmm. Maybe examine the back of it? I think there might be a reason why they didn't want to put it in front of the mirror, right? Marble bust, quite recent. There is a mechanism at the back of the bust. Oh, we did it. Nice. Okay. That was easy. Alright, we got a small rusty key. Second floor west. Oh no, oh no! Shit.
but... smear anymore. Aline? Right here. How's it going? I met someone called Eden Shaw. And what'd you find out? He knows a lot more than he's saying. He says he never saw Fisk, the friend I told you about. Uh, what do you make of that? One of two things. Either he's telling the truth, and Johnson and his men are total bastards, or else he's lying, which means he's just one more suspect. What if Fisk came here, but decided not to show himself? What if he just Psst. stayed hidden? No, that's no good. I know how Fisk operates, and he would have had to ask questions. But maybe he never had time to. What do you mean? The monsters, the creatures. But Fisk died of a bullet to the heart. Oh, I see. Or actually, I don't see. I'll go looking for Obed Morton. He has the answers to our questions. I'm starting to think otherwise. Why does it say one of four? I'm trying to see maybe. No. Damn. Right, we're gonna go in this hallway one more time. Up to the attic again. Maybe I missed something. She said there was a trap door, but I never found one. Oh, here we go. That is not second floor. Shit. Shit. Oh, 
Hold on. Oh, I got something for these bastards. You're kidding me. Oh, I thought that was gonna blow me up. Alright. Got me a lighter. Stormlighter. I don't know what a stormlighter is. Ooh. Phosphorus shells. Got three boxes. Holy shit, that's a lot. Horseshoe on that. Open that door. Not sure what's in there. Huh? Oh no. Oh no! Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a draft coming from this position. Can I blow it open? I guess not. No! Yes. More bullets. Okay, well, it doesn't seem like there's much we can do in there. Damn. Well, we did get the lighter. Might be able to light the fireplace with that. Maybe that'll give us a new key or something.
Oh my god, I should use the crowbar. on the fireplace. Okay. Well, I think that's going to be the uh, the end of Alone in the Dark um, for now. So, thank you for coming out to watch it. I enjoyed playing it and cheesing it up. It was a lot of fun. My goodness. Oh. <sighs> what time is it? It's 11 now. Been streaming for 10 hours. I'm trying to decide if I want to play more games or if I'm satiated. Hmm. 10 hours is a lot longer than I thought I was going to be able to go, to be fair. And I did play all the games on the list, except for Homecoming, which was a bitch. But I also bought games to be playing on the stream that I never got to, and that's kind of a shame. But I can also save those for another time. Yeah, I think um, as much as I would like to continue, I think it might be in my best interest to end here. My eyes have been getting kind of weird. Um, so they are probably tired of sitting in the computer and staring at it. So. Thank you guys so much for coming to play all these games with me. I hope that you had fun. I hope that this was a suitable Halloween-y treat for you. Um, I really enjoyed myself. I have not had this much fun with a stream for a very long time. Um, I feel like this was a very different stream from the others I've done, so I honestly, um, honestly everything that I set out to accomplish with this stream, I feel like I did. Um, so I'm really, really happy with everything. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed it, I hope that you had fun, we played 10 hours of scary games, lots of creeps, and lots of, lots of vibes, lots of camp, there was a lot of camp. Um, sucks that we didn't get to play Homecoming, but that's okay. Uh, we'll just have to play it another time. And I do have some games that I bought for this stream that I didn't get to play, but that's okay. We can play those another time, too. Uh, those games are Made of Scare, Bendy and the Ink Revival, and, um, Them and Us. Those were what I bought for today. I was gonna buy more, but I thought it would be in my best interest not to. Which is probably right, because um, when I went on the store to get stream games, I put like seventy dollars worth of shit in my cart. Oh yeah. Anyway, um, we're probably not doing Dog Boy Sunday tomorrow because Mel has her own things that she needs to be doing. Um, may or may not go live tomorrow with more stuff, or I might just take tomorrow to do a rest day and just work on. Donnie Tober stories. This October's almost over. 
Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Really enjoyed it. Uh, saw a lot of people that I haven't seen in a little bit. Um, played a lot of games that I haven't seen in a little bit. And just overall, I feel like this was a very good vibe stream. Um, even though my parents are who they are. Um, yeah, it was good. Alright, I'm gonna get going. Bye, subbies. I hope, <sighs> hope that you have a good rest of your evening.